Finally, somebody did it. What happens when you switch the roles of police officers and civilians? Well, today we're gonna find out on this episode of Switch. Let's go. This video is brought to you by Breaking Barriers United. Breaking Barriers United. Ryan Tillman, a good friend of mine, he, he made this video. Um, he has a whole course that he's doing where he's doing these scenarios to get the public informed about what it's like to be a police officer. And also he goes and speaks in schools. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to help him. I want us to bless him because nobody's doing this. And we need to support his mission. And you can get the link in the description section. Donate something. If you, if you got a dollar, but I prefer you do at least $20 or something. But donate something because I want to help him continue to do this all over the all over the United States of America, getting people informed on policing. So link is in the description section. Help my boy Ryan Tillman out. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share the video. Let's get into this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to just explain it real quick because what you're going to see is a scenario switch. Now, you heard Ryan Tillman say it at the very beginning of the video, but what he's going to do is he's going to have a former police officer as a civilian, which is which former police officers know how to do this better than anybody on planet Earth. And then we're going to have a civilian become the police officer and they're going to do the role switch. And you're going to see how probably 99.9% .9 of average citizens becoming police officers will react in scenarios like this. And not only does Ryan Tillman do these scenarios, it's not like he's just making them up off the top of his head. They literally go off of actual scenarios that occur. So we're going to watch the, the, the switch scenario, then we're going to watch the actual scenario. Roll the clip. Hey, how you doing there, sir? What's up, officer? Hey, uh, how you feeling today? Um, I'm doing fine. What, what, what's going on, man? Uh, the reason why I pulled you over, sir, because you had expired tags. Man, my tags are not expired. Okay. Uh, I just paid them last week, boss. Well, sir, you don't have the current tags. What on your year? Vehicle. What year is on there? Uh, you have 2021 on there. Sir, you have 2019. Man, I took care of that though. Okay, but sir, can I get your driver's license and registration, please? Man, you know what? I don't know where. You know, I was at a rush and I was leaving the house, man. And I, you know, I was just trying to go to the store and get something for my wife. You know, my daughter's not feeling sure. good. Sure. So, okay. You know, I don't know where my Okay, is. sir, uh, if you don't mind, can I just have you keep your hands on the steering wheel, please? What? Didn't you just ask for my driver's license? I, you're, you're right, I did, sir, I apologize. You want my, boss, do you want my driver's license? How about this, sir, can you just give me your name? I'm gonna get you my license. Okay. Because now I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a certain kind of way. Do you want me okay. to keep my hands here or do you want me to get Sir, go ahead and get your driver's license for me, please. <laughs> He's so you said you were going man. to the store? Yeah, man. You know, you guys get it. You, you, you kind of stop people for no reason and stuff, uh -huh. and then you get us a little nervous. Okay. And, I'm sorry, sir. I, well, it's you know, okay. I, have it, I got it somewhere in here. I okay. just don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh, officer hit. Officer hit. Officer hit. Oh, he's done, oh, y'all. <laughs> oh. 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 All right, hello. He's done, ladies and gentlemen. That fast, you're gone. Wiped away, never see your family again. It is over, over, donezo for you. But it's funny because Mr. Independent is the guy who was the cop. I'll put his link in the description section. But he did a really good job because that's how people actually talk to us. And, they, and, and, they, and if you, especially if you were like, you have a mission, like you wanted for a murder or something, you're going to have tactics lined up so that you can ambush a cop so you can get away. And so all of that, what he did, is realistic. And let me show you why. I think we have a clip of the actual incident that's very similar. This scenario actually happened in Las Vegas. A state or uh, an officer, a uh, Vegas Metro officer, was doing a stop on somebody. He was actually talking to a guy in a lifted truck. And the, the suspect, just like said did, was distracting him. Looking around, looking, reaching for stuff, fumbling. And he pulled a gun out just at that officer and flipped it, just like he did in this scenario. And he shot the officer in his lung. Now, gratefully, they were able to drive that officer to a local hospital and save his life. But that ha that actually happened in Vegas. It happens instantaneously. So what am I supposed to do in this scenario? So he's not presenting the driver's license. So what am I supposed to do? You have to investigate and figure out why. You want to control him as much as you can. 
So the moment I would recognize somebody's kind of stalling, at that moment in time, I'm gonna say, you do me a favor, keep your hands on the steering wheel at all times. And then I'm gonna get their number. Just tell me, or get their name. Tell me your name, tell me your date of birth, but keep your hands on that steering wheel. Cause now I can go figure you it out. You did that initially. You did. So remember yeah. you asked my name and then I go, look, do you either want my name or my driver's license? Exactly. Right, 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 right. <laughs> exactly. Right, right. So now when you realize somebody's acting suspicious, you want to be able to control it verbally as much as you can, letting them know, don't make any sudden movements because the moment you start making sudden movements, that tells me now that you're trying to do something else. This episode of The Switch would not be possible without our sponsors. I want to thank SC Village for allowing us to utilize their facility, but most importantly, I also want to thank 88 Tactical for sending out all the equipment that we were actually able to use during these scenarios. Thanks again, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you see they had sponsors, 88 Tactical, and all of that, shout out to them. We want to help the officer Tatum, us. We're going to help him get his own equipment and everything he needs to continue to do these scenarios. And I agree with him a thousand percent on a, on a perception of what he was saying. You know, one thing that I would add to it is the officer presence. When you show up to a vehicle, you have to let them know it's not a game. And sometimes people may think you're being a jerk or you're being rude. But at the end of the day, when somebody know you ain't playing around, they're less likely to try you. And in the scenario where you go up to the door and you say, hey, sir, um, may I see your driver's license and, and, and registration or whatever the case may be, if you feel like they're getting wonky, put your hands on the steering wheel. And you explain to them very quill, clearly, I want you to keep your hands on the steering wheel the entire time that I speak to you, okay? I don't want nothing going wrong. I don't want to misperceive what you're doing and you're moving around a lot, I want you to have your hands on the steering wheel. I will ask you questions, I'll write them down, and then I'll, I'll run your name. And, and if, if, if any point they get the fumbling around, do not take your hands off of the steering wheel. Be stern with people, straightforward, because that can save your life. No, no messing around and being, and oh, sir, but, but sir, but I don't want to be mean, but no, no, I'm, I'm giving you a direction. I'm going to have you step out of the car if you cannot keep your hands on the steering wheel. And then you can't be afraid to pull your gun out. If you feel that any level of a threat, you pull your gun out in immediately. Because like you saw in the Las Vegas situation, in an instance, a guy could turn around and shoot, get a lucky shot on you. But I think those officers did a great job. I think the civilian did a great job. You got to think he has no experience being a police officer. So with a little bit of experience comes a more – uh, uh, balanced perspective in how you deal with people in the public. But I think this is a good scenario because it exposes people to what it's really like being a police officer and how quickly things could turn in real life, and that can be the end. And then it helps you understand that, hey, this is not as easy and cut, cut and dry as it looks like it is on television. Shout out to Ryan Tillman. Shout out to Breaking Barriers United. Let's support them, man. Let's give a donation. Link is in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live, make a video. Had to say that one more time. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.